hi everyone in today's session we'll be seeing the uh, august 2022 futures of microsoft as we all know that uh, microsoft is a leading business intelligent tool in the market and it is very user friendly uh, the good thing about Microsoft is every month they are coming up with some new updates, new releases, and they are enhancing the features of uh, Power BI and they are making our lives better. So leveraging all these features, we can uh, make our report more uh, user friendly. We can enhance that readability and we can uh, use all the features provided by them in the updates. So let's quickly go through these updates. OK. This is for this month, August month. They have released this one. So if we see right at reporting, they have uh, released a few features which are like conditional formatting for data labs, sensitivity, sensitivity uh, label dialogue and uh, some policy updates, uh, a new metric visual and mobile formatting also. And with respect to modeling, they have uh, improved the DAX editors and uh, connectivity is also the connectors they have updated for uh, MariaDB and Google Sheets. They have updated the connectors and um, some certified connectors also they have uh, uh, made them available for Power BI data flows and data marts. So uh, with interest of time, I'm not going in detail of each and every feature. Rather, all the features right in details like what all the ones which they have enhanced in detail about this. It is given here along with the uh, visualization. What exactly is this feature and uh, how it is uh, enhanced now when compared to the previous previous versions in the new releases what all the things they have updated everything in detail they have mentioned here okay this is nothing but microsoft uh, power bi blog i will share this link in the description box you can go and read it from here let's see uh, some couple of updates okay like uh, how we can uh, update our power bi with these updates if you see right in visualizations they have given new visuals in app source it means in app source uh, they have made some more visuals uh, updated uh, so i'll show you what is that source right this is the visualization pane this is the power bi desktop i have opened and uh, in this visualization pane let me select this If here you can see these three dots, right? Get more visuals. The, these are nothing but the default visuals and our custom visuals we will be getting from here. Get more visuals. So here if you see, right? This is all visuals. This is for a particular wherever you are working, right? Organization that organization related visuals and this is app source visuals. So here they have added a few more uh, visuals here and uh, even drill down combo bar pro also by zoom charts these are like third party who are uh, creating some uh, visuals and that they are placing in this app source and we can just uh, uh, select any one of the visuals and then we can import them you can uh, add like this so when you add that it will be successfully imported this is how from app source you can uh, download the visual. So like this, they have introduced some new visuals as well and drill down combo food. These are the futures available. Uh, please have a look at the futures regularly every month because every month they come up with some new features. And this is also an important interview question uh, like uh, in every Power BI interviews, they will be asking like what are the features uh, released by Microsoft recently? Uh, name any one or two features futures and um, which future do you like most or is it a bug fix, uh, bug fix or uh, what was the previous update and what is the current update so some sort of questions they keep asking about the monthly releases of uh, power bi so let's see how we can update the features okay so uh, this is the power bi desktop and the go to file option file menu and here you can see options and settings and here you can go to options and in options here under global, you can see this uh, preview features go there. And if you see this preview features right here, you will have the list of all the features which are recently released or recently updated in the new release. 
so uh, some of them are checked it means uh, these updates are uh, included in my power bi desktop and some of the features new features these are not updated so let me select all this you have to select all so that you can leverage all these new features into your power bi desktop so once you select all this you can click on ok so this will require a restart means once you close this uh, desktop and uh, once you close this and open it again it will uh, restart and then you can start using all the new features so this is how you can uh, update your power bi with the recent updates